when you think about a budget, you might envision columns of numbers. However, that's really just the end result. A budget is just as much about planning and the process as it is about numbers. To put it another way, are you letting your money tell you what to do? Or are you telling your money what you want to do? The numbers are important, of course, but the process is what informs financial management decision-making and creates broader accountability. A budget is a document that reflects the priorities of an organization. We recommend starting with program and organizational goals. We call this no numbers budgeting. After goals and priorities are determined, then it's time to crunch the numbers. Let's dispel one myth right now. It is a myth that the goal of a nonprofit is a budget that breaks even. A surplus is a powerful tool and a good thing. Yes, even for nonprofits. Some people think nonprofits shouldn't or can't have surpluses, but having cash reserves gives you more ownership over your decisions and can be a lifesaver in the face of an emergency. Consider budgeting for a surplus. You can do this by setting aside cash for depreciation expenses. This is called funding depreciation. You can also designate reserve funds as an opportunity fund to support new initiatives in the future. Here are some helpful steps to creating a budget. Set organizational financial goals and clarify annual goals from the strategic plan. Agree on budget approach. You may assign roles and responsibilities. Agree on authority to make decisions and agree on how much uncertainty can be included. For example, the board may assign the finance committee to work with staff to develop a draft budget within parameters agreed to by the full board. Then, review the draft budget to verify that the draft meets program and organizational goals. Review and discuss all assumptions with key staff members and the board. Make adjustments based on goals and capacity to match income and expenses. It will take some back and forth to go from a no numbers budget to a version that's in line with your current financial situation. This is the part that can take time and multiple drafts, so it's important that you start this process well before the board needs to approve the budget. Make sure you know how much risk you have in your budget. No budget is certain, and there's no right or wrong amount, but everyone involved needs to have a shared understanding about how much risk you are willing to take as an organization and what it is. It's also important to capture the assumptions you are using to create the budget. Know that your budget can take on different forms depending on how you need to analyze the numbers. A one-year budget is a critical tool, but not the only one. Other tools include a multi-year budget and cash flow projections. A budget facilitates conversation about your goals and how best to achieve your mission through the lens of finance. You need to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and how you want to use your resources to get you there. And what's more, the budgeting process is a chance to build financial leadership, trust, and board engagement.